What are you doing here? I live here. Not at the moment you don't. Get what you came for and get out. Don't worry. Just a few clothes from upstairs and I'm off. I'm sorry, Mum. I thought you'd be at work. With Bethany in hospital? Well, you might be able to carry on like nothing's happened, but those of us with feelings can't. Well, what's happening with her? Nothing to do with you anymore. Oh, come on, Mum. I didn't do it on purpose. Don't come your excuses, David. They won't wash. Bethany could have died. It was an accident. Tell it to someone else. Get your clothes and clear out. Well, don't you even want to know what I'm doing? I hope you're figuring out some way to become a responsible human being. And how are you ever going to know that if I'm not allowed near anyone? Clever lad like you, David. You'll figure something out. Sorry. Well, I hope you've come intending to work. You've already lost half a day's wages. You owe me big time. Doing your job as well as me own here. Well, does this mean you're letting me back? I'd rather have you here where I can see you. As God knows what you get up to when you left your own devices, my lad, here. Where have you been to this time? Uh, I stayed overnight in Daryl's shed. Listen, Grant, um, my mum, she's kicked me out. Does Daryl not have an alarm clock? Do you no harm sleeping on someone's floor for the night, thinking what a disaster you are? No, Grant, you're not, you're not listening to me. She's kicked me out, as in she, she's not going to let me back. Oh, get over. Uh, it's no wonder she's upset, though, David, is it? Think about it. Well, go and sort it out with her, then come straight back. But I can't. I mean, I'm gone, Grant, that's it. But you can go ask her for yourself if you don't believe me. But where does she think you're going to go? She don't care. Oh, this power. Maria, uh, can you manage on your own for five minutes, love? Oh. No need to tell me what it's like, girl, I know. So why have you come round here pleading his case for? Well, it's not because he sent me, if that's what you think. <sighs> Love it, I know you've had him up to here. But you cannot chuck him out of his own home. <sighs> yeah, all right. You've made your point. He slipped up. He nearly killed Bethany. But he is still your child, the same as Sarah. Ja I could kill him myself, Gail. But this was an accident. Oh, so he accidentally put the pills inside the doll's head, did he? No, ma'am. He is not waltzing back in here. He's got a father, he's got mates, let them try and sort him out. Now, you think dossing down on a mate set is punishing him, do you? Because I don't. He needs a firm hand, Gail. This would never have happened if... If what? If I'd listened to you more? You'd have got a grip on him a darn sight sooner if you had. Fine. I failed. OK, I admit it. Now I'm dealing with it. Well, you're not. He needs watching, not chucking out. You're going to make it worse. What am I supposed to do, ma'am? I spent half my life giving him last chances. Well, now I've finished. So's he. So you're happy seeing him dossing in the street? Not cold, is it? Gail, that is a shocking thing to say. Well, I've had a lot to be shocked about lately. Uh, <laughs> look, just remember, Gail. I mean, for all he is now, you carried that lad for nine months. I mean, you pushed him in his pram. Do you think I'm happy doing that? And you took him to school. Yeah. Otherwise, he'd never have gone. <sighs> the first time he goes into town on his own, what happens? He gets beaten up and then dragged in by the police. No, the answer is to keep him here at home with a proper set of rules, not chuck him out. Ma'am, for once in his life, David is going to have to deal with the consequences of his own actions. He's brought this on himself. Let him pay for it. Well, I'm not having a grandson of mine dossing on the streets. There's a tent in the garage. He can camp on the wreck. He's done it before. You'll have to stop with me. Oh! So I'm trying to teach him a lesson and you're undermining me before I've even started. You're playing right into his hands. No, I'll not think that when he hears the ground rules I've laid down for him. Don't you worry about that. So I failed and you can put it right. Fine. Good luck to your mum if you're stupid enough. You have him. You see how you like it. You'll regret it. I'm telling you. Yes, I heard you. So was half the street now. You're the one who's always telling me I'm too soft, and now you turn round and do this. What choice have I got, Gail? I'm his grandmother. Fine. 
Just don't come moaning to me when he turns round and kicks you in the teeth, which he will as soon as he's settled in a rapture around his little finger. Not with what I've got in mind. And if there is good in him somewhere, I'm going to have to drag it out of him, aren't I? Well, you can try. Oh. I'm sick of looking for it. What's happening? You're coming with me. Come on, get back to work. And hard work this time, not messing about. Then we're going home, to my home, and you're going to do as you're told when you're told. Don't dare argue with me, David. Just don't. I'm telling you. Oh, it's going to be a few changes, my lad, whether you like it or not, so get back in the cellar. Go. Oh. Go on. Sick to death of you. I'm sick to death of the lot of you.